Hello and welcome back to Farawa. In this video, I'll be getting ready to go home by finishing finals, packing, and then doing some catching up on some things that I need to do before the holidays. All right, right now I am studying for Italian and I have four finals this semester because I have four classes. I studied for a while in the morning and then I decided to go get lunch, which is basically brunch because I didn't really have a big breakfast at all. Uh, I think I just, I don't even know if I had anything for breakfast, but this was a very delicious meal. Then I made myself some tea and I went to go do some more studying in the afternoon as the sun was going to set. And I called my mom because I was not sure how to organize the rest of my schedule and she is very good at organizing. Oh, here's a little outfit show, by the way. But she helped me decide to put the essay off until the next day and get the Italian done tonight because the Italian is a self-scheduled exam, which means that there are five days and different times during the day where you could just show up and take the exam. And so this was a Saturday, I think. So I decided just to study, 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 study for a couple hours before the exam on Saturday and take it at night. And I did it, it wasn't so bad. Then I went to the LGBTQ center and I wanted to look through all their stickers just for fun because I, I wanted a fun break because I felt like I deserved a little break after that. But I did start working on my essay. I started listening to the PDFs and the articles that I wanted to use as my sources. And um, the stuff that they have in the center is really cool. They have little fidget things and that interesting kind of sparkly water mixture. But I went through every single sticker that they had in their, I think, four sticker containers, and I listened to the articles, which I think was good. And then I played with some bubbles because it's very fun in there and it's very cute and colorful. This is the next day. I think this is Sunday night. So Sunday morning I had my art final, which was basically a, it ended up being about a four hour tour around the campus where we would check out everybody in the Art 101's finals where you could post it anywhere around the campus. That night I, decided to just get that essay, get that written. During my breaks, I did some exploring and I happened upon the dance studio or the dance floor or something. I had always wondered what was on this third higher level. Oh, and by the way, well, before I came up here, I went, I went into the school store because every semester they give you a certain amount of money um, that you can spend on snacks and things, and I had about 8.50 left, so I figured it's my last day, almost, might as well spend it now. And so I got these two bags of Skipper's Dark and Milk uh, Chocolate M&Ms, and I think the guy actually gave me a deal, which was very nice of him. And I was gonna make myself some tea, because I saw the other day that they had a tea boiler. They had a kettle there, but it was dirty, so I cleaned it, but not good enough, and I figured I'll just not have tea. Oh, shoot. But I, but I am going to take some tea. This is dandelion. Chai tea. Unica. I'm only taking the dandelion because there's a lot left of it. The others, there's not so much left. I'll grab the dandelion. Alright, it's time to actually work on the essay now.
so I tried one of the Skipper's M&M's and it was very difficult to open, but that's okay. And I got one out and I tried it and I don't know why, but I spaced out for a while. I don't think I even really realized how long it was. But anyway, this is me hyping us up to do this essay. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. And we're going to do it now. So, this was actually going to be a study video originally, like it was going to be one of those where the camera is set up and I just study and you study with me, but after watching it back, I realized I moved way too much and uh, was kind of distracting honestly, so I'll probably try that another time. Also, I think this 10 was like, I wrote 10 pages. Uh, I actually don't know what the 10 was for, maybe 10 o'clock, 10 minute break, I really don't know, 10 out of 10 points. Anyway, I was like, you know what? This is a dance space. I've got my socks on because I was actually worried about the floor because it felt like it was waxed or something. I don't know. The night after this, when I was studying, it was so, so, so loud that it woke up my roommate and we closed the window because we realized that rain was coming in. And also all I could think about with like literally how loud the wind was, was my art project in the Arboretum breaking loose and rolling around the campus <laughs> which is kind of funny but also uh, kept me up anyway um okay next morning monday morning the day i am leaving i gotta get this essay done so i wrote out my outline in the basement of the library by the way on my way there it was raining so hard and i had to stop a couple times because the wind was just so so hard and i had to hold my hood down and okay it's not a big deal but it was just honestly kind of comical that's why i find it funny so I took a break and I walked over to the Arboretum to get my piece, but the Arboretum was locked up because it was dangerous because of the storm. So then I walked over to the art studio where I had to um, clear out my locker and then I brought my art stuff back to the library and I wrote that essay and it was actually going really well because it was I, I rewrote the whole thing because I was just all over the place on Sunday. Anyway, chop, 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 cheerio. Wash this. Um, I did just wash this. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, success. The washer is empty and so is the dryer. So I'm just gonna get this stuff in there. Blanket. Sheet, sheet, and pillowcases. All right. Cause I'm strong. I am. Just getting the stuff off the floor for now. Okay, I am finally, finally home. And this is the next morning. I finished my essay and I'm pretty happy with it. Then my dad and I went back to the college, it's not far away, to take down my art project. And then we went shopping. This is an antique store that we checked out. And this is a interesting, interesting desk that I thought was cool. This is a very in cool sewing machine that I saw that you could take off the lid and then there's the sewing machine built into the desk. And my dad said it was very old. And they just had a lot of very cool things at that shop. And then my dad and I went next door to the Black Sheep to split a burger and shepherd's pie, and it was really, really delicious. But then we went back to the antique store because my dad wanted to buy two old chests that they had. Now here's a store that is, that is next door as well. And I don't remember the name. I thought I took a picture, but apparently I didn't. It's called like the Salt of the Sea or something. Anyway, it's very cute store very aesthetic and they have all these little now they have it set up for christmas but when i went in the summer with some friends they had all these summer aesthetic things like they even had fake carrots that looked like you pulled them out of your garden that you could put on your table or something
then we headed over to the book barn. There are three, I don't know how many book barns are in the area, but there are a lot. This is one of the smaller ones. And then we drove to Goodwill because there is some stuff that I wanted to pick up there or look for for some members of my family for their gifts. I found a lot of cool stuff, but I didn't get any of this stuff. Um, and these shoes are very cool, but they are not exactly what I'm looking for. I did get this white dress, and here's me playing around with styling it. Girl. All right, since coming home, and since I took a lot of my stuff, because I'm not going to bring a lot of it back, or hope not, my room is a very big mess, with a very big mess with all my stuff, but you know what? We got that done. Over two days. The next day, my dad and I went into the local towns to see the shops, and this is a shop called Mama's Garden that I visited in the summer and it changed locations. It just moved a couple of shops down. I looked around, it was very, very cute. And I got one of the members of my family a gift there, but I'm not going to mention what it is or who it is because they will probably be watching this. Also, they offered to do a card reading for me and that was fun and actually a lot of the things were things that I had mentioned in my previous video about identity and speaking up for myself, which was very interesting. Then next door, this is a new shop, which is actually in the old location of Mama's Garden and it's called House of the Triple Moon, which I was really excited. There are two witchy shops in this town and they're both pretty new and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Anyway, um, it was really cool inside, just like the other one. I enjoyed looking around both of them a lot, and I think I will definitely go back. This one also had someone doing readings, but my dad was waiting for me, so I didn't want to keep him waiting. Um, even though I did end up spending a long time in both shops. The third shop we visited is a ceramics shop and we looked around for a bit. Um, it's called the Essex Pottery. In the afternoon, my dad and I went out shopping and we went to a couple of commercial places like um, Marshalls and Walmart and a uh, shoe place and home goods uh, to find some other things. 
but then my dad very kindly went back to Goodwill with me because I realized that there is something that I wanted to get there for somebody and that was successful and we also found some extra stuff that we enjoyed and we had a good time shopping together and then at night my parents and I watched some Hilda So that was my preparations to come home, and then my first couple days at home. And yeah, by the way, thank you so much for all of the kind comments in my last video. And I wanted to let you know that I am feeling a lot better now that I'm home. I think that really helped. And finally, because my mom pointed out that I tend to say something inspirational at the end of these types of videos, it's okay to have videos that are kind of chaotic and don't really go anywhere and that's the same in life too it's okay to have days or moments or a while where things are just kind of confusing and nothing seems to really happen but life is still happening so yeah i don't know if that's inspirational but i hope so i am will be coming out with some more videos very soon thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video goodbye for now from farwa one final thing is real quick um i just made some new stickers for my etsy they are these little fox stickers these fox winter stickers and they are getting ready for winter indoors or outdoors or both i also have my winter shadow spirits up as well right now check it out if you'd like to and have a wonderful winter because when i am recording this it is the first day of winter